can you tell me what was the last business book you read? I wonder have any of you actually read any business books? I mean, people talk about this business, but I never see them reading business books. I mean, yeah, they'll read tons of tabletop RPG business books, they'll read tons of comic books, but you know, how many business books have you actually read? Hell, I'll be fair, in the last year, how many books have you read? And this has to be something very, very specific. I don't want a generic article or something you read off the internet. I mean, an actual book that you picked up from either the library or you purchased, you sat down, you read through it, you had a yellow highlighter, you highlighted parts, not the, not the library versions, but you had a highlighter, you went through this thing, highlighted, took notes, wrote things down, and then executed on what you read. I'm gonna guess that number is a lot smaller than you want to admit. Now, even coming from me, who reads a lot, because I read a lot of real estate books, don't let it fool you, I read way too many of those books. And I read marketing books, and I watch tons of stuff on YouTube. Even I know it's difficult sitting down reading. It's difficult. You kind of have to make the time. You have to force yourself to do it. But once again, it's important you'll do it. So most people aren't reading books to learn stuff. They're doing the same stuff you see over and over. They're just copying other people's stuff. So the question I'm going to ask you that's important today is, what's the book you're going to read to be different? And I'm going to give you a book. I'm going to give you one of my favorite books in the world. It is a great book. It is a book that I think every person who's in business, let alone entrepreneur, should have read and should have read probably once a year just to get the vibe back again. Uh, The book was written by Guy Kawasaki. Guy Kawasaki's claim to fame is that he ran the marketing department at Apple during the early years. That's right. He was the guy turning... Apple fans into evangelist and he has a book called Rules for Revolutionaries it's one of my favorite books it's in my bookshelf and I will continue to read it every year because every time I read it I get something more awesome it's one of those kind of books the more you read the better it gets just keep reading that book over and over and over get it on audible do what you gotta do listen to that book read that book it will change your life because a lot of you are not even thinking about logical things you can do to make your business better I mean you make products you put it out and that's all you do think a little bit be creative find ways to make a ton of money doing this so you don't have to go to your regular job anymore and people saying oh I'm trying well yes but here's the thing you got to try harder because what you're doing is okay, but you got to try harder. Sorry, I know you want me to give you some sappy thing like, you're doing your best, good enough. Nope, work harder. Then work harder than that, and then work even harder than that. Because in the Porter household, we have a theme, or I guess you call it a motto we believe. Hard work pays off. Always. See? Most people don't believe that, but we definitely do. So if you're going to put some hard work down, it's going to pay off, but it's got to be some hard work. What can I say? Thank you so much for listening to our video. If you like what we talked about, do us a huge favor. Click the thumbs up button below. If you hate what I talked about, hey, click the thumbs down. We're good either way. What can I say? Thank you so much, and I will talk to you all later.